Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So a lot of you guys probably know me from my other YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel if you did not know. I'll link it down below if you want to. I talk about a little bit more serious aspects of my life. I talk about being an expat. I talk about living abroad. I decided to make this channel because there's one community that I really love on YouTube that I wish <laughs> one day I could be a part of, and it is the luxury bag community. I think I spend the most of my time on YouTube watching bag reviews. If you're someone that does not understand bags or does not like bags, you're probably thinking, what are you talking about? But it's something that I could sit and watch for hours in my free time. But I decided to make this channel to sort of talk about things that really interest me that I feel don't fit on my other channel, which would be bags, makeup, um, clothing, hair care, and stuff that I, like I said, I can't really put on my other channel. But today I'm doing a bag review. I have a very, very tiny collection of bags. And one thing I like to do before adding something new to my collection is watch reviews on YouTube. And I was heavily influenced by YouTube and by YouTubers with this bag. This is the Gucci Dionysus. I say Dionysus on this channel, so please don't come at me for the wrong pronunciation. GG Supreme Mini and canvas and suede. I hope that's correct. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out and see all of the information about the bag with the width, dimensions, material used, and all that good stuff. But yeah, I think I'll talk about the backstory of this bag. So in 2015, 2016, I believe Sammy Marie, Samantha Marie is her name. She's from the UK, I believe. She did a review about the small version of this bag or the medium version. I will link her video down below because oh, it brings back so many memories, but she did a review about this bag and I remember seeing it and I was in love. Granted, I did not like the small version that she had, but I saw this version and I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is beautiful. I was lusting over this bag. I fell in love with this bag. I believe from like 2015 upwards until 2018, I would constantly walk past the Gucci store just to look in through the window, through the door to see this bag. At the time in 2015 or 2016, when she did this review and when people started, you know, I guess reviewing this bag and it was becoming very popular, it was an Instagram friendly bag, I would say. I didn't have enough money to buy it or maybe I did, but I just could not justify it in my head spending all of the money in my bank account on one purse. So I just wrote it off. I think the most expensive luxury, luxury bag that I had, luxury bag that I had at the time was a Michael Kors bag. And I believe it cost like 200 to $300. And that was very expensive for me. You know, buying something that was about five times <laughs> that amount just did not seem plausible to me. Moving forward years later, I had enough money. I felt comfortable enough purchasing this bag. I started doing a lot more research on the bag, you know, hearing people's reviews, going over the pros and cons, what can fit, how it looks on, on the height and all that good stuff. And I just said, I'm going to buy this bag. When I got this bag, y'all, it sat in the box, I don't know if anybody else does this, but it sat in the box for maybe a month before I opened it and messed with it because I was still shocked and in awe that I had it and I loved it. I know people are probably think I'm thinking I'm dramatic, but these are things that bring me joy. I know materialistic items shouldn't bring you joy, but it's just like if someone has a nice car or if someone has a nice pair of shoes, that's what bags do to me. Also food. Like I said, I've had it since 2018. It's been holding up really well. It's almost 2021 and I feel like I can do a really good um, pros and cons review, wear and tear after the fact on this bag because it's gone all over the world with me. It's gone through rain, snow, heat, hurricanes, and yeah, so I'll start with the pros and cons because I feel like that's the easiest thing to compare. I don't have that many complaints about this bag because it is my favorite luxury bag ever. The only two complaints I do have though have to do with this chain. Um, and this was a complaint that I didn't really hear that much of from people that own this bag, which I was like, why are y'all lying? Because this is, y'all aren't telling the truth. <laughs> this chain, the first thing is that if you do not pull it properly or if it gets I guess snaggled, is that the word? On this hook down here or this little, I don't know, grommet, is this a grommet? No, if it gets caught there, it can sometimes 
become a knot and it's very hard then to get it unknotted or it makes the bag uneven and then it sits uneven and it's very uncomfortable sometimes. So I really dislike that. The next thing is that when you have this bag on like this, like a normal crossbody, <laughs> it is so uncomfortable if you put too much stuff inside of it. And no one ever discussed this in detail. People were like, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's fine. No, it hurts. Like it will literally dig into your skin. This is something that really bothers me about the bag. That's the only major complaint that I have. The little things getting caught in a knot, snagged here and there, perfectly fine. Um, it's very minor, but this hurting me? <laughs> is a con. I've gotten used to it and I usually know how to make my clothing um, comfortable or make my clothing an extra padding like I can um, move my shirt a little bit so there's like two layers of it so then it doesn't hurt as much or I wear it over my winter jacket or I wear like a sweater so then it doesn't hurt too bad but if I'm wearing this by itself on my bare skin I will have really bad indentions on my arm and sometimes it gets really red and irritated as well. If you're very sensitive to these types of things and you like carrying a whole bunch of stuff and like packing it full this is not the bag for that. But yeah, I can talk about the wear and tear of the bag, what it's like, you know, two to three years later. And I feel like it looks relatively nice two to three years later. I wear it all the time. I've worn this in the rain. I've worn this in the snow. I've worn this on trips, on flights. And I feel like it looks relatively good. I have to like try to put it somewhere because there's lights around me. But then opening it up, um, everyone complains about this little dot right here. I don't care about that because who who really cares? Not that many people. This is what the inside looks like. My card holder's in there because like I said, I wear it all the time. Um, and as you can see, there's not really much inside as well. I believe this is a suede microfiber fabric material. And the one thing that is really bad about this, if you're not careful, if it gets too wet or with pins and stuff, it does leave really bad marks that you can't fix. And if you rub stuff on it too much, it'll sort of come off and it doesn't look that good. On the side as well, I have no like cracking issues or glazing issues on the side. Um, everything's still intact and that I find to be very nice. Oh, wait, I did find a corner though. Can you guys see it's like right there, that little crack right there. But other than that, this is like what it looks like. There isn't really that much going on. And in the front as well, like I don't think there's anything wrong with it for how much it's been used. But then going over what fits inside of it because that was something that I really wanted to know about when I purchased the bag and a lot of people showed what they put inside of their purses and it wasn't relatable to me because I'm like, what do you guys carry with you? People are like, oh, I have these wipes and this thingamabob here and this fork and this utensil set. And I'm just like, that is not realistic. Who carries these things in their bags? So I'm gonna show you a very basic, realistic, um, what's in my bag. I feel that I don't have that much with me when I'm on the go. And if I am on the go, that I need a whole bunch of stuff to come with me. I'm not gonna be using this bag or I carry this bag with another bag that has all of my necessities for that matter. Okay, so let's start. Now I do have to say I'm using my phone to record the audio for this video. It does usually fit in here, but since I'm using it for recording the audio, it won't fit or I'm not gonna put it in there. So keep that in mind that my phone does fit in here as well. I start with the most obvious thing, maybe. No, I'll start with the smallest things because those are easiest to organize. I have Blistex lip repair because I have very dry lips. I have my headphones. I usually have AirPods, don't know where they're at. Probably in the washing machine because it's happened to me many times in the past. I have a power bank. I also have a USB charger. I also don't know where it's at. What else I have? My house keys, I do not drive. I live in Europe. There's public transportation here, so don't need car keys. I have my sunglasses. Some people don't bring their sunglass cases with them. That's perfectly fine, but I usually bring the case. Uh, you sort of have to put them, if you do bring the case, a little caddy corner and crooked in there. I don't know if you can see like that. So it fits, especially with the phone. Here is a spray. It's very sexy night from Victoria's Secret. I'm one of those people that has a humongous, um, what is it called? <laughs> a humongous sack of 
free perfume samples and roller balls that I get in gift sets or if I buy perfume and they give me free samples I keep them in there in my bathroom and if I'm going out somewhere and I want to smell nice I usually bring one of those little I think I even have one yeah these little vials that I just throw in my bag Gucci Gucci and I don't need to take such a big thing but I've been liking the way that this smells so I've been bringing it with me but if you do have free samples or roller balls it takes up a lot less space than this big old bottle and then the last thing is my card holder I don't know how people have humongous card wallet holders and everything like that I have one two three four five cards this is the Louis Vuitton, um, I don't know the name of it, something card holder. It's just a card holder. I think it's just a basic card holder and it fits everything that I need. And I also have money in there, somewhere in there as well. And that goes in there. And then hopefully, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it should close and it shouldn't be too warped uh, because a lot of people, if you stuff too much stuff in there, it'll be warped. You still have, it's still malleable. You can still... I don't know, fit other stuff in there as well. You can probably fit um, an eyeliner, a lip liner, a lipstick, lip gloss, maybe even a compact. But like I said, I don't bring those things with me when I'm going out. I just hope that my makeup stays in place. Or even if you want to put tissues in here, I think it would fit. That's what everything in there looks like. It looks very organized though, wow. And if I don't bring my sunglasses, and I put my sunglasses on the top of my head or something maybe. I can fit my vlogging camera, my Canon G7X Mark II, I think it is, in here. And then I'm able to vlog and make videos on the go. It does get a little heavy on my shoulder, so sometimes I don't do that, but if I do need to bring my camera with me, it does fit in here as a last resort. I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone out there that does similar videos like this because it really helped me with my purchase and I really love this bag so, so much. I'm not telling you that you should buy it, but if you're like me and you were thinking about it years ago and you still love it and you have the money and the resources to purchase this bag, I would 1000 percent do it over and over again thank you so much for watching you guys have a wonderful day and bye bye